Well, it's nice to be back. Went down last week, but um, yeah, back for another little go this week. It's it's Sunday, but um, because it's a bank holiday Monday, there's still quite a few people on. Apparently quite a few have left, but there's still, I think, seven or eight people on. Seems like people are either in and sort of no one in the middle. So that's sort of what I've done, really. I've come in the middle. Sounds like it's been quiet over the weekend. Only, only one fish out and one lost, I think. Maybe two lost. And it was, it was pretty quiet last time I was down. I think there was only two fish out all week. I had one of them and the guy opposite had one as well. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit out of sorts. The water's quite low. Um, but, yeah, it is nice to be back. The weed's still quite thick. No Joan this time. She wanted to uh, sit this one out. So, yeah, I'm here on me lonesome. But what that means is, you know, less gear. So if I need to move, it will be a bit easier. I'm going to give it a go at least for tonight. And who knows, might be staying, might be going. Depends what happens tonight. I imagine most of the other guys that are here will be going tomorrow sometime. So that should open up a lot more swims tomorrow, should I want to move. For the moment, it's a do though. Right. Well, nothing last night, apart from a good night's kip, really. It's quite a nice night. Had a bit of rain on and off during the night. And I did hear a few fish, probably five or six shows out there. So there has been fish about. And I've seen, since it's got light, I've seen a couple out there. One sort of just around the corner here and one over there. So sort of pushed down that side a little bit, really. Not sure what to do today, whether to give it another night here or move. I'm suspecting I'll probably move actually. Oh, I've just seen one show over there. I don't know whether the camera actually would have picked that up. Might just get a rod out to where that one showed. Uh, I'll give it till this afternoon anyway. I don't mind a move. <laughs> Quite good at moving, so yeah, we'll see. See what happens. It's about three o'clock now, and basically nothing else has happened. I haven't seen anything, but I did have a little look out there, and really, the spots where the fish were showing this morning, I can reach them better from next one down, which is, well, on the next island, which is Snags 2. So it's not far to move, it's only next door really, so I'm just gonna bung the gear in and uh, just make a move down there, and. I've just got better angles to get in to where the fish were showing. Let's make a move. Well, another day and another move. It looked good in here, it really did. I was seeing fish, but during the night it was absolutely dead. I've had one bleep. Well, this is an easy move because it's just up the bank to vipers. There was a guy pulled in there. He's down for the week and uh, he was on the move and he pulled in on vipers earlier. But he didn't want to fish it but he's just gone off somewhere else so i'm gonna take my chance and get in there and i can just walk my gear up here <sighs> but i've seen a load of fish show out here it's not a swim i particularly like really but it is in the sunshine and uh, it's a bit chilly down there it's nice to stand here in the warm sunshine but more importantly, I've seen a load of fish show out there this morning. 
there's one just down to the left here that jumped and then was fizzing up for ages but mostly I've seen them showing sort of just out there some weed beds out there and hopefully some clear areas because that's where they've been showing but oh, it'd be nice to warm up a bit in the sunshine as I'm a bit cold and hopefully third swim lucky on the ear it's better to move and get on the fish I found so that's what I'm gonna do seem like it's starting to thin out a little bit now but there's still very big beds of it here but it's what the fish want to be around yeah a lot of this weed you can see there, you it ain't obvious until you get very close to it and then all of a sudden you see this a great big thick bed of it that's oh, alright, hasn't caught the engine too bad there the sounder does help I've actually got the Ray Marine on here I will use the deeper but uh, I've got the Ray Marine as well and it's it's handy well my phone is on charge at the moment so I need that for the deeper so I use the Ray Marine but yeah you can see by just that solid yellow mass that is all weed down there so even though it looks clear down there it's certainly not but there will be clear bits I do actually want an area of thick weed just like this but with little little clear spots in between it that's what I'm looking for just little tiny clear spots in amongst the weed because the fish want to be in the weed they don't want to come too far from it you know those big open expanses of clear water It'd be lovely if you're casting from the bank and feeling for a drop you just feel donk and you think god oh, that's great but the fish don't want to be there all you need is a little clear spot in amongst all that though and just like that there we go there we go that's what i'm looking for 13.4 lovely and clean yeah that's gonna do yeah happy with that one right all set up in swim number three which I'm a little bit down on the edge there for good reason most people would normally there's another big area there which would be the place where most people set up but if I can sort of get close enough I don't know <laughs> got to be very careful here because there's a massive great wasp nest I don't know if you can see them all coming in and out of there a couple of people have been stung and they do like to sting me so I'm yeah I'm just trying to keep it out of their way as much as possible so they're in under there under the swim so yeah I'm trying to keep me back to him as much as possible but there we go tips right up in the air and I get loads of people ask me why I have my tips up in the air and you know it's pretty straightforward really but my line's going right out there over loads and loads of weed so there's no point in having tips down because there's no way the line's hugging the bottom or anything like that it's all draped up over weed beds basically so the last thing I want to do is if I hook a fish is go out and try and get over my lines in the boat because there's a very good chance that I'll just catch one of them with my engine and cause me all sorts of problems so it's a lot easier if when I pick the rod up I'll just get in the boat and go under the lines so if my left hand rod goes I can simply just walk under get in the boat and go under my other two lines 
so yeah anyway that's why i have my tips up in the air <laughs> so there we go they're out we're fishing i'm set up i haven't been stung yet <laughs> so let's hope it stays that way Well, he's in there anyway. There we go. Cool. It was all going easy and then all of a sudden it got a bit stranger. Never mind, he's in there. hasn't been easy this trip the fish they've been about but they haven't really been on the munch and the lake's been a little bit out of sorts don't know why but there we go we got one and uh, yeah very welcome last day today be off in the morning so good time for it to turn up just show you the other side this he's a lovely pretty fish 
but the vast majority of them in here are really they're all lovely fish in here <laughs> there we go fin up for the lads yeah and a cracking island lake carp well pleased with him right let's get you back Beautiful. Lovely. Following week, I found myself back on the island late again for a few days. And it was nice, it was lovely and quiet and uh, quite mild conditions. But the fishing was just as tough as it had been the week before. Fish were showing here and there, but um, it was hard to get a bite. And it was tough fishing. I was getting wiped out by big weed beds that had started to drift around the lake. And at one point, I did think about going home a day early. But I had my lucky mascot with me. Joan had decided to come down for this little session. And uh, so it was just nice spending a bit of time on the lake with her. And yeah, we decided on a, a move of swim uh, we tried a couple but ended up on butchers which is on one end of the the opposite end of the island to where i'd fished the week before on vipers and a lot of the weed was really thick there it looked pretty good for a bite but it was still tough but finally things did come right Well, all's well that ends well. <sighs> Nearly went home a day early because it was a bit of a nightmare this trip. Nothing was going right. And then I see one lovely fish show out there between a few little weed beds. I thought, right, that's it, staying another night. Put a bait there. Yeah, and this was the result. 38 and a half pound of lovely Island Lake Mirror. Whew. So uh, all the hardships, it just shows. Keep plugging away and good things are possible. Very, very happy with that one.